The Bismarck, Eight Days of Glory. The Battle for the Denmark Strait. Launched in Hamburg in February 1939, the battleship Bismarck was the biggest Germany had ever built. The Bismarck was a formidable ship of war, weighing 49,500 tonnes and a maximum speed of 30 knots. With 12.6 inches of armour plate, she was almost unsinkable. Armed with 16 4.1 inch guns, 12 5.9 inch guns and 8 15 inch guns, she was invincible. Dateline, May 1941. The battleship Bismarck and heavy cruiser Prince Eugene were ordered to break out into the Atlantic Ocean and attack Allied convoys. Having taken on prize crews to return captured Allied ships to Germany, their confidence of success was unquestionable. Dateline, 19th of May 1941, Monday. Zero 0200 hours. The Bismarck departs Gottenhaven and joins Prince Eugene and three destroyers. Dateline, 20th of May 1941, Tuesday. 1500 hours. Bismarck and Prince Eugene are sighted in the Kattegat by neutral Swedish cruiser and reported to Stockholm. This was leaked to the British naval attaché. The British act immediately. The battle cruiser HMS Hood, the battleship HMS Prince of Wales and six destroyers are ordered to the Denmark Strait between Iceland and Greenland to reinforce the two cruisers already there. The Bismarck could not be allowed to decimate the Atlantic convoys and must be sunk at any cost. Dateline, 21st of May 1941, Wednesday, 13.50 hours. The Bismarck is sighted and photographed by British Coastal Command Spitfire in Grimstad Fjord, Norway. Dateline, 22nd of May 1941, Thursday, 04.20 hours. The Bismarck is off the Norwegian coast, course 0 degrees north, speed 24 knots. The destroyers leave the battle group. Dateline, 23rd of May 1941, Friday, 182100 hours. Bismarck and Prince Eugene reach the Arctic ice sheet and are forced to zigzag to avoid ice flows. 192200 hours. Bismarck sights HMS Suffolk on her port side at 7 miles. 20-30 hours. Bismarck sights HMS Norfolk and fires five main battery salvos at her. The Norfolk is undamaged. The Bismarck's forward radar is disabled due to the blast from its own forward turrets. 2200 hours. The Bismarck reverses her course and tries to engage HMS Suffolk. The Suffolk withdraws. Dateline, 24th of May 1941, Saturday, 05 4500 hours. Lookouts on Bismarck report smoke from two ships at 70 miles on the port side. This is HMS Hood and HMS Prince of Wales. 05 5200 hours. The British ships approach the German ships head on, which limits them to using only their forward guns. HMS Hood opens fire on the Bismarck. 05-5500 hours. Bismarck and Prince Eugene both fire at the Hood. 0600 hours. Bismarck is hit on the port side by three 35.6 centimetre shells from the battleship Prince of Wales. 060100 hours. The Hood is hit. The shell penetrating the rear ammunition magazine and detonating 112 tonnes of cordite. A devastating explosion breaks her back. HMS Hood sinks in three minutes. HMS Hood, pride of the British nation, is gone. Of the 1,418 men on board, only three survive. 060200 hours. Bismarck scores four hits on the Prince of Wales. One of the shells struck the bridge and did not explode. However, it killed all but two men in the ship's command centre. The Prince of Wales, having sustained significant damage, withdraws. 1840 hours. Sailors on board the Bismarck look on in dismay 
as Prince Eugene leaves the Bismarck to refuel, leaving the Bismarck to fight on alone. Midnight, the Bismarck is attacked by eight swordfish from the carrier HMS Victorious. One of the 18-inch torpedoes hits amidships. The damage is insignificant. Dateline, 25th of May 1941, Sunday. 01 hours. The Bismarck fires two salvos at the Prince of Wales. No hits. 0 10 hours. In the darkness of the night, the Bismarck turns to starboard and the British lose contact with her. Dateline, 26th of May 1941, Monday. HMS Victorious, Prince of Wales, Suffolk and Repulse are forced to break off the search due to fuel shortage. 10 10 hundred hours. The Bismarck is sighted by a Catalina flying boat. 11 14 hundred hours. The Bismarck is sighted by a swordfish from the aircraft carrier Ark Royal. 17 40 hundred hours. The Bismarck is sighted by HMS Sheffield. HMS Ark Royal launches her swordfish. The pilots have not been informed the Sheffield is following the Bismarck. Visibility is poor. They attack the Sheffield by mistake. The new magnetic detonators on the torpedoes fail to trigger. The Sheffield is undamaged. The swordfish return to Ark Royal and rearm with torpedoes which have contact detonators. 20 4700 hours. The Bismarck is attacked by 15 swordfish and is hit by two 18 inch torpedoes. One hits a midship. The second hits the stern, jamming the rudder. The Bismarck can only steam in circles. 21-30 hours, the Bismarck fires six salvos at the Sheffield, distance nine miles, no hits. 21-40 hours, the Bismarck reports, ship unable to manoeuvre, we will fight to the last shell, long live the Fuhrer. Relayed over the loudspeakers, the crew are dismayed to hear this. 22-38 hours, the Bismarck opens fire on the Polish destroyer Piron and four British destroyers. Dateline, 27th of May 1941, Tuesday. 08.4700 hours. The final battle begins. HMS Rodney opens fire. The Bismarck returns fire. 09.0200 hours. A 16-inch shell from Rodney struck the Bismarck's forward command post, killing hundreds of men and severely damaging the two forward turrets. 0930 hundred hours. The men below decks are ordered to abandon ship. 0931 hundred hours. The aft turret fires one last salvo and is put out of action. All main battery turrets are now out of action. 0936 to 1016 hundred hours. The Bismarck receives a large number of hits from point blank range but is still afloat. For the men still alive on board, it is a living hell. 100 hours. Demolition charges explode in the Bismarck's turbine room. The Bismarck has been reduced to a shambles and is aflame from stem to stern. She suffers more than 400 shell hits but stubbornly remains afloat. 10.22 hours. The Bismarck is hit on the starboard side by three torpedoes fired by HMS Dorsetshire. 10.39 hundred hours. The Bismarck sinks 400 men are fighting for their lives in the freezing Atlantic Ocean. The German U-boat U-74 watches as the Dorsetshire and Maori rescue 110 survivors. In the numbing cold, the hands unable to clutch the rescue ropes, many slip below the surface of the sea. 11.40 hours. The Dorsetshire detects a U-boat and the rescue is abandoned. 19.30 hundred hours. Three men in a rubber dinghy are saved by the U-74. Dateline, 28th of May, 1941, Wednesday. 22.4500 hours. A German weather ship rescues the final two survivors from a raft. Of the Bismarck's 2,221 officers and men, only 115 survive. All the brave men of HMS Hood and the Bismarck we will remember them.